Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome to the channel. Let's talk. <laughs> so, I'm making some adjustments to the channel. Well, they aren't really adjustments, they're more like I'm adding to the channel, I guess. Let's start with the big one. If I've done this correctly, you have probably seen ads running on my videos. <laughs> now, one thing I try to pride myself on is transparency with you guys. You are my community. At the end of the day, without a community, I have nothing. This channel is useless. No, I, I try to be as transparent as I can on things. You know this. <laughs> and I have monetized the channel. I know in the past I said I wasn't going to, but back then the state of the world wasn't what it is now. <laughs> And I genuinely did want to put more time into my main channel, which I am now finally doing, thankfully. Um, and I was going to monetize that one because that is my main focus. Alas, that is not how that went. And I have monetized the channel now. I hope there are not ads running in the middle of my videos. When you go to upload a video here on YouTube, you have like the standard upload. Then you have monetization. I'll see if I can get like a screenshot next time I upload a video. So there's details, which is the video description, title, and everything. Then monetization, video elements, checks, and then visibility. Now within monetization, here, let me share my screen real quick with you. Okay, so uh, this is a video I'm uploading currently. The pros and cons of Star Stable. So here you have my description and title and then monetization. When it comes to monetization, you can select on and then done and then place ads during video mid roll. I always uncheck that. Unless the video is highly edited, like there's a lot of screenshots going, there's a few cuts and things, there's um, or the video is about 40 minutes to an hour, I won't place ads unless the video is that long. More so because I put more effort into those videos than a standard video like this one where I'm just talking and giving feedbacks and stuff. But like a video like, let's say my not safe for kids video. That's a video I would have monetized and put ads in the middle of or my Sylvie Mystream video. Things like that. When it comes to videos that are just like 20, 30 minutes or so with not a lot of edits, I won't put ads there. Okay? I try to uncheck the ads. But I am monetized, so hopefully ads are not playing in the middle of my videos because I have done- I've made a habit of making sure to uncheck that before I upload. So videos will only run in the beginning and I believe the end of a video. But with that, like I said, I, I try to be as transparent, and this does not go against YouTube's TOS. The only thing I can find that goes against TOS is bringing an un unnecessary amount of attention to ads. Like, you're constantly talking about it, or you're constantly telling people to watch it, or something like that. So, what I plan to do is, when now that I'm monetized, I want to tell you what I make. what What amount of money I make. This is taboo to a lot of people i know like talking about money talking about how much you earn but let's be honest if you know somebody's job or you've worked at a specific job you roughly know how much a person makes per week or bi-weekly it's not a big deal and i want to be transparent because i'm also going to make memberships i know i said i wasn't going to but we'll get into that but I do want to tell you how much I make because you guys are the ones that are watching my videos. You're the ones that have to suffer through the ads as well as me if I go back on a video to kind of analyze it. So at the beginning of every month, I will tell you how much I made the previous month. So for April, the 1st of April, the 2nd of April, I'm going to try and do it really early. I will tell you what I made the previous month with whatever proof I have to show that. And with memberships, I will be doing the same thing. So I'll make a community tab and I will tell you what I made that month. Because with content creators, it fluctuates a lot. One content creator can make like 200 bucks one month and then it dips down to like 80 bucks the next month. It fluctuates a lot. So I just want to be transparent. And I know I said I wasn't going to do memberships yet, but I was talking to a friend. And this friend has a normal person job. 
lucky bastard. <laughs> and he was, we were just talking about, like, you know, the state of the world, the economy, and, um, he congratulated me on reaching a thousand. And he had asked if I was ever going to monetize because even he knew that I put a disclaimer at the, uh, and in my video's description that I would never monetize. And that was true when I made this video. I didn't want to monetize. I, when I went, ma when I made this channel, I had another channel and I was going to focus on that channel. And this was going to be just secondary because I wanted to make content for Star Stable. Just a hundred percent. That is not how that happened. <laughs> my laptop started to die on me. I couldn't make content for my main channel or what is now my main channel. Um, it was just easier to do Star Stable content for a while and it still is. So I focused on this channel instead of that channel. I then deleted that channel and I remade it to what the channel is now, which is Puppet Vestrala. And this channel grew faster than that one did, but that's also because I, I couldn't make content for that channel like I had originally planned. And I was going to monetize that channel instead of this one. But, you know, the universe got in the way and the universe was setting obstacles in my way and I had to get over them and I am, I'm over them now, but like... <sighs> so... I am monetizing this channel and then eventually I do want to monetize my second channel as well because both of these channels are a part of me. My main channel is more me. This channel is just a extension of me. My friend had asked me why I make content and a lot of people will be honest and say they do it for money. They do it because they want to entertain people. They do it as a safe space. Mine is a mix of that, but also because I just like making things. I like creating things. And with my main channel specifically, I have a story that I want to tell with that channel. I have a story that I want to tell. And nowadays, when people say that they want to be an author, you think, oh, they want to be a published author. Which, in my case, yeah, I would love to have a book published one day. But I have so many fucking stories in my head that will not leave me. So... I'm doing a little mix of both and my YouTube channel has a story and this channel also has a story that's tied to my Star Stable character that I am also working on. So I have stories to tell and I'm going to be using both of my channels to do that but it's, it's hard and I also have just really big goals for my main channel. I don't want to say what they are yet because like anytime I do shit starts getting in the way like really bad so i'm not gonna say it but they are big goals and they're not unrealistic they are possible i've seen others do it so i know they're possible i just i have to work there and i'll get there eventually but that's the goal for that channel i have a story to tell i do want to entertain people i want them to have a safe space and just fuck around with me <laughs> and have fun you know playing games and doing stupid silly shit and this channel, it's roughly the same, but it's also to give feedback to the company of a game that I adore and we all adore. And as well, just giving a safe space for people who want to have discussions, whether we agree or disagree on certain topics. And to bring certain things to light about the community and the company and just, you know, well as well as just some entertaining, simple content. With that, the memberships, <laughs> I hate it. Everybody, it always feels like everyone's trying to sell you something, and I feel the same way. I'm not trying to sell you something. It is an option. You can use it, or you don't have to use it. Do not feel obligated to give me or anybody money, okay? So never, never feel obligated to give anybody, including me, money if it's the difference between you eating, paying a bill, paying a vet bill... <laughs> because your cat or your dog or your parrot or your ferret decided to do something stupid and got hurt. Like, don't give people money if it's going to take away from what you need, okay? Give people your money if you yourself feel they deserve it or you can and you want to, okay? So with my memberships, I'm keeping it simple because I don't want to put more work on myself and I don't... I, I, it feels weird to have tears things. I had the same issue with Patreon when it first came out and I was seeing artists do it. Like, obviously you do you. Okay, I'll never fault somebody for trying to, you know, get their bag. Just for me personally, I always felt like it was weird 
So my tier is just one tier. It is called uh, Little Lilies. And what you get for joining this membership is these cute little loyalty badges that I designed myself. They are based on the Lily of the Valley, which is my birth flower. And when you are a new member, you will start off as a little seed, little pile of seeds. <laughs> and then one month is a, you sprout into a nice little green, healthy vine. Two months, you will sprout two little buds. And then six months, you will sprout six little buds. And then if you reach a year with me as a member, you will get all shiny. <laughs> You will turn into a shiny little Pokemon um, of Lily of the Flowery Flowers. And then two months, you definitely become shiny. You turn into a little rainbow. And that's not all. These will appear by your username when you leave a comment, I believe. And if I do live streams, which I would like to do live streams sometime, my internet just can't handle it. So that is definitely far off into the future, unless I spontaneously get better internet. <laughs> um... But they will show up in your by your username uh in comments and live streams and you will also have access to these cute little emotes now i only have three at the moment i i think i have like a slot for one more i think they're based on how many followers you have or how many members you have i'll have to read through that again but you have these cute little emotes i've designed yeah yeah that that's right <laughs> i'm rebranding the model as well um, which we'll get into that later. But you have these cute little emotes. I'll be making more as we progress as well. I have so many. I also am making them for my main channel as well. This so cute. <laughs> making emotes is so cute and fun for me. I don't know why <laughs> compared to other things. But that's what you also get. And that's not all. The last and final thing. When you try to join people's memberships, they will have like, um, perks. Some of them, the more often than not ones that I've seen is like a, a membership only video or membership only videos. I will not be doing that. Completely honest, that is too much work for me. And I just, I, I, I can't, I don't want to. So the easiest way for me to do it is to put your name or your usernames at the end of my videos as credits. So at the end of a video, your name will roll on the screen like a credit will. I haven't decided if I'm going to read them aloud or just have them roll with some music. I'm not too sure yet. We'll figure that out. Or maybe it'll be a mix of both once in a while if I feel up to it. Who knows? But they will roll at the end of a video as a thank you to everybody who does join memberships. And that will be everything. Now, of course, the perks could change. I do not, again, I do not want to add levels. I refuse. I don't like it. Um, but the perks might get added onto. I might do, like, membership-only live streams once in a while. If I do get into live streams, we'll just have to see. But the credits rolling with your username, that will stay for a good while. I want that to be, like, the main perk. Now onto the rebrand that I'm doing. Yes, I know you saw it. Those emotes look nothing like the model you're used to seeing. <laughs> I told you that I have a story to tell and had I had the foresight to do it with this channel, I would have actually started having this model be the model you would see. Now, this is the model you'll be seeing in my videos now. Say hello to Phaedra, okay? Her real name is Phaedra. When it came to me making my Star Stable character, I didn't see myself in her more so due to the lack of character customization. But I have this weird relationship with my Star Stable character. It's very 50-50. Some days she is me, some days she is not me. She is a pre-made, pre-slotted in character. On the days that I'm role-playing with myself, she is me. But on the days where I'm going through like the story or I'm just playing the game, she's just a pre-made character, which is known as Phaedra. Phaedra has her own story right <clears throat> and had i had the foresight i would have had her human design be the forefront for a while and i actually have been fighting with this design with the deer design she is loosely based off a tuft deer that is why she's grayish brown and so so now this will be the model going forward She'll have an outfit change once in a while for like holidays and stuff. But this is her human design and then the deer design will eventually come back. 
I just need to fight a little harder with it. Because <laughs> I have been struggling for about like a year designing her. And she has had so many designs that I've scrapped over the years that I just did not like. And I do want to tell you her story someday. Because I, I take pride in how I've written her story. But that will have to wait. But this will be the model for now. The dear one will eventually come back. So... That is, the banner will stay. The banner is still very much tied to her as a character. It's just the model that is changing it, changing and the profile picture. And these emotes, I will also be using in videos. Sometimes. Especially the Alicia online videos that I'm gonna, I'm gonna start making. So, yes. <laughs> that is why, because the, the monetization kind of banks on her rebrand a little bit with the emotes. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have her, her um, design set in stone. And these emotes will stay. I might mix them up sometimes if when the deer form comes back, I might re-edit the emotes to be some of the deer form and then some as the human form. Because I'm doing the same thing with my main channel. <laughs> some of the emotes are the puppet and then some of them are the um, fabric of reality design that I've done. So it's just going to be a little bit of a mix and match. But there you go. That is this video. Um, I believe that's everything. If that's not everything, then editor me will put in a segment here of whatever I missed. Okay? Okay. So, that is this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I appreciate everybody. All, all of you. Every single one of you. All of you. Mwah. Love all of you. Whether you give me money or not. <laughs> I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your likes. I enjoy seeing you guys engage with my content regardless of whatever it is. Whether it's a comment, a like or a vote on a community poll. I very much enjoy it. I appreciate every single one of you. And I just, I wanted to get the monetization and the membership stuff done and over with because I, there's never a good time to just up and start like having an option for getting money from people. So I just want to get it done and over with and kind of in the event that people do want to join, I can get into the habit of doing the credits with your usernames and stuff, you know? Because it'll be fun. But that's this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!